We know the Delta variant of COVID continues to surge. We know that younger people are at risk. Hospitalizations are growing. In Dallas, it's so bad, the ICUs are full. If a child's in a tragic accident, they have to be transported by helicopter to other cities. Can things get that bad here? Joining me on the morning show, epidemiologist Dr. Jonathan Cantor with the Penn Center for Epidemiology. So school's back in session. The Delta variant is unrelenting. Is this the most dangerous time in the pandemic for our kids? Well, I think it's definitely one of them. Uh, you know, it's very difficult to gauge whether now with the Delta variant, uh, it's a scarier thing than right early on uh, when we had just plain variety COVID because then we had no vaccines available. Uh, so when we look at the community as a whole, of course, we're in a better position now because we've got vaccines. The problem is the deployment of those vaccines has not always been as broad as we would like, uh, particularly uh, in Florida and other states. Uh, so the question is going to be how well is that vaccine deployment in older adults and in younger adults as well going to help protect our kids, certainly with the ability of the new Delta variant to spread much more aggressively. It definitely raises concerns about our kids and about how well they can do in school and how safe we can keep them. Look, medical experts have shared the best practices to keep our kids safe, but swaths of kids remain unmasked, unvaccinated. A good segment of the population wonders, are we failing our kids? Are we? Yeah, you know, it is a challenge and it's a difficult, difficult situation. I mean, you could certainly argue that the rollout of a vaccine for children uh, has been slower than we would like. That said, unfortunately, that has to go through the safety steps that are required, right? Kids are not just small adults. We can't simply say, hey, the vaccine works in adults. Let's go ahead and, ahead and give a smaller dose to our kids. That's not the safe way to do it. So definitely we want to make sure that whatever we're going to give our kids is going to be safe. The other thing to keep in mind is that we've got to balance that, right? Kids over 12 have had access to the Pfizer vaccine now for months. Um, so some of them have received that. A lot of them have not. Uh, but those younger kids, that's where it's particularly concerning. And we're in a really, really difficult position. And we really need to help to reemphasize to our kids that, you know, it's not fun to wear a mask. But at the same time, kids are resilient. Kids can get used to anything. And getting used to wearing a mask is a heck of a lot better than getting used to dealing with the uh, downstream effects of getting long COVID or even worse. And now a number of experts are saying the Delta variant may just be the beginning. You've got the Epsilon and Lambda variants that are looming, and there's concern they may evade vaccines. And that information comes from a study that's not peer-reviewed yet. Is there cause for additional concern? Well, I think there's definitely cause for concern. Uh, you know, Anthony Fauci has already uh, raised concerns about whether or not he's talking about Lambda or just any other future variants. Uh, when you have a virus that is spreading so aggressively through a population, you always get these variants. You always get these mutations. And some of those mutations may selectively allow the virus to be more transmissible and or to evade vaccines. So there's definitely concern. Uh, early concern from South America with Lambda showed that it did take over very aggressively there. So the question is going to be how effective are our vaccines going to be against it? What we do know right now is that the best thing we can do to protect ourselves, our families and our communities is to get ourselves and our families vaccinated and to wear masks, certainly when we're indoors, follow CDC guidelines, and as much as possible, just to be smart about things. But again, we don't know what the future is going to hold. If there's anything everyone's learned from the pandemic, is that it is very difficult to predict which ways things are going to go. Just a couple months ago, we were all very excited. We were not wearing masks. We were having a really great time. And now already look at where we are. So we don't know what's going to happen next. It's good to just do the right thing, follow CDC guidelines, and do whatever you can to keep yourself, your family, and your community safe. Dr. Jonathan Cantor, always appreciate your expertise. Have a great day.